Mary, was something up earlier? No. Why do you ask? Weren't you trying to say something when I was leaving the house? And you seemed out of it since last night. Is something bothering you? No, it's not that. You're making me curious. Did you have something you wanted to say to me? It's not a big deal. I got contacted by an old friend of mine last night. A friend I met when I was studying in Canada. That'd be about 10 years ago, right? It's been 11 years. She got married in Canada and got permanent residency. She's going to be visiting here next month. And she invited me to meet. Oh, I see. That sounds great. I bet you have so much to talk about, like life in Canada. But if we are to meet, it'll be on Sunday, and I'll have to go out of state. I don't feel comfortable leaving the house for an entire day. The nursery school is closed, and I can't bear to take Emma with me. In that case, I'll take care of Emma. We'll be watching the house, so you go along by yourself. Oh, really? Of course. You used to say that you don't want to have to take care of her all day. How long ago was that? That was when Emma was still a baby. I was overburdened and just had to let off some steam. Is that so? I should have depended on you more then. Come on, don't think so lowly of me. I can take care of my own daughter just fine. But I definitely didn't think you'd be so cooperative. It's been on my mind. Mary, you used to be so active before we got married. I really admired that about you. Well, I was carrying a lot less load back then. You had so many friends and used to go on trips all the time. But now you spend so much time at home. I'm worried that you might explode sometimes. How about you head out more like you used to? Are you being serious? What are you being so hesitant for? You don't know when your next chance will be of seeing her. Go see her while you can. Yeah, okay. If you insist, I'll take up your offer. Talk to me when you have something on your mind. Yeah, you're right. I've met up with my friend. I forgot to give Emma her medicine this morning. Can you give it to her? The medicine is in the TV rack. Medicine? She has a slight cold. She needs her meds after breakfast and dinner. Sorry, I'm actually at work. I was called out for the day. What about Emma? Sophia is looking after her. Your sister? Is she at home? Is she all right? She never leaves the house on weekend. I'm sure she's at home tending her garden now. I feel bad. It's so sudden. Having to look after a child on her day off. She loves her niece. She was happy to take her. I'm worried Emma might burden her with her crying. She has little experience being away from her parents other than nursery school. Don't worry. My sister's a bit weird, but Emma has always been affectionate to her for some reason. I'm sure they're fine together. Your sister? Weird? She bought that house in the remote woods at that age and lives with a dog without getting married. That's not normal. What is she, a hermit? But Sophia's house is so lovely. Surrounded by so much nature. And that stream running close by? I guess it's a better environment for Emma than being home. Yeah, I think so. She got excited when I told her she's going to Sophia's place. How's it going over there? Thanks to you, I'm having a good time. We just entered a restaurant. You okay messaging me? My friend's in the bathroom. Where are you headed for after eating? Mm, maybe some sightseeing? We're having a light lunch and plan to enjoy food that we find as we stroll around. Sounds awesome. Have fun sightseeing. Yeah, thanks. Good luck with your work. It must be tough. A client suddenly requested modifications, so I had no choice. Sorry I couldn't follow through with my promise. It's work. It can be helped. No worries. But I feel sorry for your sister, so we should hurry to get Emma. Good evening, Sophia. Has my husband come by yet? Hello, Mary. Um, no, actually. He must still be at work. I'm so sorry it's gotten so late. I'll head over and get my daughter. Do you mean Emma? Yes, I'm heading over right now. Sorry to burden you on your day off. Taking care of a three-year-old is not easy. I have gifts for you too. Um, you're talking about Emma? She is not here. What? My husband left her with you. That's what I heard. Ben? I had to leave the house today and my husband was supposed to take care of Emma. But he had to go to work so he told me he left her with you. So I was about to stop by and get her. I know nothing of this. 
I was out taking care of some errands and just got home. Maybe he came by and I was gone. But he said he left her with you. That can't be. You don't think he could have left her at my house? I would doubt that. To leave a three-year-old child without confirming you're there... That would be hard to think of. Oh wait, I got a call. I'll look around the house just in case. I'm so sorry, thank you. I'm done with work. Did you go get Emma? I was about to, but didn't have to. Why? Oh, did Sis drive her back? No, I went. Uh, what do you mean? I went to get her from the police. What? Why the police? I got a call from the police that they took custody of Emma. Where? Like two miles from your sister's home. She was wandering in the woods for hours. Didn't you say you left her with Sophia? Why was she wandering in the woods? I took her to Sophia's house. Sophia told me she had been out all day. What, she wasn't home? What did you do with her? I dropped her off in front of the house. I thought she'd be home. You left without confirming she was home? Sorry, I expected her to be. You left without even confirming. How much of a rush were you in? I was preoccupied with work. I'm sorry. Ben, it's Sophia. Mary told me all about it. Sophia, you two are together now? I'm the one that went to the police first because it would take longer for Mary. I couldn't make Emma wait any longer. I see. Thank you. Mary and Emma are at my house having dinner. The police tried to give Emma some food, but she wouldn't eat. She must have been scared. She's gobbling up some mac and cheese now. Sorry to put you through this. You really need to apologize to Emma and Mary. Yeah, I know. Ben, were you really at work? Yeah. Really? What's the deal? I've never heard of you working on holidays. That's why I was suspicious. Don't be. True, I rarely have to work on holidays, but today was an emergency. I have an old classmate that also works at your company. You know that, right? Mike, right? In fact, we're in the same department. I asked him. He said there's some maintenance going on. So the office was off limits today. Are you still gonna say you were at work? You seriously checked? I'm glad I did. I now know something is going on. Sophia, can we talk alone? Why are you trying to leave Mary out? This might be a bit of a shock for Mary. Tell me, now. As you already know, I wasn't at work. I lied. I was actually with someone. Who? A mistress? Must be a woman if you can't tell Mary. Mistress, that's a bit exaggerated. Then what? It is a woman, right? I met her two years ago. We had so much in common, we got close right away. I'm not asking you for reminiscence. You trying to gross me out? Tell me what the deal is with that woman. We go out, leap over sometimes. So you're sleeping with her? How is that not a mistress? Disgusting. I want to explain to Mary myself. Let me talk to her. No point making excuses now. Shut up. Just get Mary. This is Mary. How dare you fool me. What's this? Becoming cooperative with childcare all of a sudden? Trying to hide that you're cheating? Let me explain. Explain what? Wanna talk about what's in store for you? I know you're angry. Putting Emma in danger to go mess around with a girl. I'm a disgrace as a father. Queen to see that mistress was more important than your daughter? I got messages from her this morning and she was infuriated. I had to go see her to calm her down. And? She's been wanting me to get divorced for a while now. She was getting frustrated that I wasn't taking action. She demanded that I come right away. I was worried she would dump me if I didn't. Is that so? So you definitely need to divorce me then? Just forget it. Why? You rushed over to see her because you didn't want her to dump you, right? Means you want to divorce me now? That's how much you love your mistress. Not as much as I love you. Don't even try. Go ahead and marry her. She's just a mistress. I can't imagine being with her for life. 
She's only good to be a mistress. You dare say that? I like her face. That's it. She comes from a poor household, working nights. I'm too good to marry such a lowly person. You... you understand what you're saying? This isn't about you? You think talking trash about her will make me forgive you? I'm not that simple. In fact, I despise you now. I just wanted you to know I have no intention of marrying her. I love only you. Disgusting! Mary! Your sister also looks disgusted. You are enemy to all women. She's a freaking mistress. Why are you getting so angry? Give me her number. Why? I'll have to talk with her as your wife. Tell her how despicable you are. I can't bear to let the poor girl marry you. Who said we're getting divorced? Oh, there's no doubt. How can you even think to get away with this? Please forgive me. Mm, I'll reconsider if you give me her number. Really? Don't know if I will actually forgive you. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to see your face. I'm spending the night here. That's fine, but will you come back? Who knows? I might just move in here. Living with your sister might be fun. I have absolutely nothing to depend on you to raise Emma anyways. I met with the mistress and had a talk. I told her how my husband had talked trash about her to me. I even showed her the message saying, I'm too good to marry such a lowly person. Turns out, my husband had already promised to marry her. And she was deeply shocked. And now she despises him. My husband being ridiculed by so many women. Getting divorce papers thrown at by me. After an hour, he was exhausted. But Sophia wasn't satisfied. She called over their parents and all hell came raining down. All women looked satisfied when the talk was over. The mistress had been deceived in many ways by my husband, so she was let off. Ultimately, we reconciled. I collected consolation money for my husband and left the house with my daughter. Having lost everything in just a single day, my husband looked completely lost. It serves you right, I thought as I watched him. I'm still in a good relationship with Sophia, but I have no clue how my ex-husband is doing. Who the heck cares? Hi, Linda. Is my 500 euros for this month not ready yet? You're on your way home from work right now, right? Don't forget to deposit the money into my account at the bank, all right? Huh? What are you talking about, Mom? But I already gave you the 500 euros yesterday. No, you didn't. I'm talking about the 500 euros you sent each month. Are you trying to play dumb and get away with not giving it to me? But I already gave it to you. I gave it to you in front of Elio, so there can't be a mistake. Ask him if you don't believe me. What? Elio? Yes, your son and my brother Elio. Apparently he was in the hallway when I gave you that money. You didn't notice that he was looking at us? That kid is pretty serious when it comes to money, so I think it would be best if you don't try anything strange. Oh, I remember now. You did give me 500 euros yesterday, huh? Sorry, I must be getting old. It's not like I wanted to get an extra 500 euros from you or anything, so uh, don't tell Elio I asked you for money, all right? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm about to get off the train and walk home, so I'll end our conversation here. Hey, Linda, I just found your pay slip. You only earned this much money all along? What? My pay slip? I saw that you only earned a thousand euros a month. I thought that you went to the office every day to work, but there's no way an employee at a company would only earn this much. You've just been pretending to have an actual job all this time, didn't you? When in reality, you probably only work part-time a few days a week. Huh? A, a thousand euros? What in the world are you talking about? I'm the one asking you. 
I see now. That's why last month, when I tried to get an extra 500 euros from you, you wouldn't give it to me no matter what. It's because you just didn't have any money, right? Because if you had given me a thousand euros in total, that would have been all your money for that month. Um, Mother, I don't quite understand what you're talking about right now. I haven't told you about my monthly wage in detail yet, but I can at least tell you that it isn't as low as a thousand euros a month. Oh, and do you realize that you just admitted to trying to get an extra 500 euros from me? I wonder what Elio would say about this. No, don't tell Elio! What I meant was, when I accidentally tried to get an extra 500 euros from you, you see? And don't even try playing dumb with me! I have proof of it in my hands right now in the form of payslip! The numbers don't lie, Linda. It says here that you only earned 1,030 euros in the month of October. Huh? I assure you, I earned more than 1,030 euros last month. Besides, I haven't received a payslip on paper for several months now, so... Whatever you have in your hands right now can't be mine. Huh? What do you mean you haven't received a payslip for several years now? Don't tell me, but... Have you actually been unemployed all this time? What have you been doing outside every day for the past few years, then? Um, I don't mean that I'm unemployed, I just meant that I receive payslips online now. It's custom for people to receive digital payslips at a lot of places nowadays, you know? I can view it on my phone or my computer right now, and I assure you, it won't say that I only earned a thousand and thirty euros. But I have proof right here! Elio isn't the only one who's serious about money in this house, I am too! I'm not going to forgive how you've been leeching off of us for these past few years. Um, but isn't that what you've been doing to me and Aunt ever since you and Dad got divorced? Besides, you can say whatever you want, but it won't change the fact that my monthly wage isn't a thousand euros. Where did you even get this payslip or whatever of yours? I got it from the safe in the living room. Um, but I've never used that safe before. The fact that you won't admit it even though I'm confronting you like this is basically proof that your monthly wage is a thousand euros. Only a guilty person would lie like that. Huh? That doesn't make any sense. By your logic, literally everyone would be guilty. And what makes you so sure I'm even lying in the first place? Of course you're lying! Because you're just like your dad, a lying snake. You seriously only earn a thousand euros a month, Linda? That's basically the same as being unemployed. I mean, you can't even support yourself with that sort of money. I don't need a parasite like you anymore. All I need is Elio, who earns 10,000 euros a month. Huh? Elio earns 10,000 euros a month? Yes! Um, Mother, but Elio is still in college. Yes, he must be using some sort of talent of his to do some sort of unique job that pays 10,000 euros a month. Or maybe he started his own business while still in college and started something profitable. I'm so proud of him. Um, I think that's a bit too fantastical. Besides, I'm pretty sure I'd know if Elio earned 10,000 euros a month. No, it's not fantastical. You're just jealous your brother, who's still in college, earns ten times as much money as you. Get out of the house, Linda. You're a burden to us. I should have taken only Elio and given you to your dad when we got divorced, but apparently I couldn't do that, so I was stuck with you all these years. But now you're a functioning adult, so it doesn't matter what I do to you anymore. What? You're going to make me leave the house? Yes, that's what I said, didn't I? I said get out of the house. I don't like how you're acting all arrogant when you only earn a thousand euros a month. And now that I know Elio earns ten thousand euros a month, I don't need a parasite like you anymore. All I need is Elio now. 
Leave the house right now. Um, to me it just sounds like you're asking for something that you don't really want, but are you really sure about this? I'm telling you to leave, so of course I'm sure. I'll tell you this in advance, but it won't work if you try and stall so that you can stay in our house. I have no intention of doing anything like that, but fine, if that's what you want, I'll leave. I have a place to go for now, so I can leave as soon as you want. Oh, and I don't want you to come crying to me later on, so I'm going to tell you this now. What? I'm the one who earns 10,000 euros a month, not Elio. Without me, you two wouldn't be able to support yourselves anymore. Huh? There's no way I'm going to believe something like that. You're such a shameless liar, Linda. Trying to act as if the money Elio earns is your own, I'm cutting ties with you. I don't need a liar in the family. I see. You're cutting ties with me, huh? Fine. I think that's a good idea as well. Wow. Why do I feel so free right now? Sister! Is it true that you left the house? When I came home from school, Mom told me that you had left and the two of us were going to live together without you from now on. <sighs> Is that really true? Oh, hi, Elio. What do you mean, hi? How can you be so calm right now? Don't leave me here with Mom! There's no way we're going to be able to support ourselves here now that you're gone. I'm currently in the process of finding a job right now since I'm about to graduate from college. I don't have the strength to deal with this as well. Oh, sorry. I should have explained the situation myself to you before she did. It's not that I'm abandoning you to live with mom or on your own, but it's just that I got the feeling that if I didn't get out of the house as soon as possible, mom would start throwing away my stuff from the next day. That's how strongly she wanted me to leave. Huh? What's she getting mad about this time? Seriously, she acts like she's some sort of queen around here, when in reality, we uh, wouldn't be able to get by without you and Aunt's help. All she does is lay around doing who knows what all day. Jesus, that mom of ours is really a hassle. She doesn't like you because you look and act like her dad she got divorced with a few years ago, right? That's why she's been trying to find a reason to kick you out of the house ever since. Looks like it finally happened. Well, it's not like I haven't noticed it myself. Our mom is just too much for us to handle. Even dad couldn't put up with her and eventually lost his patience, eventually leading to a divorce. Well, yeah, I know that too, but what am I going to do now that you're gone? Don't worry, we'll think of something. First, there's something I want to ask you. What? Did you do anything that might have made Mom think that you earned 10,000 euros a month? Huh? Mom thinks I earned 10,000 euros a month? Yeah, that's why she kicked me out, because she said she would rely on you instead from now on. Anyways, can you think of anything? Not just something that would make her think you earned 10,000 euros a month, but maybe something that would make her get our monthly wages mixed up as well, so? Oh, I think I might have an idea as to what it might be. You see, I taped a paper on the wall of my room recently with the words 10,000 euros monthly written on it. I guess she misunderstood and thought I was posting my monthly salary on the wall. What kind of weirdo does that? I mean, any normal person would understand that it's supposed to signify a goal. Well, you know how our mom always interprets things in ways that are beneficial to her. Besides, what you're doing is pretty weird as well, Elio. Why'd you do something like that again? What about it is weird? I thought that I wanted to be like you and earn 10,000 euros a month myself in the future. I think mom might have entered my room without my permission again, and that's probably when she saw it. Okay, next question. Do you know anything about a pay slip that outlines a salary of a thousand euros a month? A pay slip? Yeah. For some reason, Mom thinks that I only earn a thousand euros a month. She made a commotion saying that she saw my pay slip or something. Um, but that's probably my monthly wage I earn from working part-time jobs. 
I thought so. Do you remember putting a payslip inside the safe in the living room? Yeah, because I don't have a safe in my room. I wanted to put it somewhere Mom wouldn't find it. But I guess putting it in the safe was a bad idea, huh? That must be it. Huh? Mom saw your payslip and thought it was mine, which is why she told me that you might as well be unemployed if you only earn a thousand euros in a month. Seriously? But doesn't she see you go to the office every day? What kind of office employee only earns 1,000 euros a month? Yeah, that's what a sane person would think. Our mom, on the other hand, thought that I had only been fooling her by pretending to go to the office all the time, when, in reality, I was out enjoying myself or something. Also, she must have been so biased against me that she didn't notice that the name on the payslip wasn't mine. She probably just wanted a reason to insult me and automatically assumed that the payslip was mine. Huh? Doesn't that... doesn't that mean that it's my fault that you had to leave the house? Uh, I'm sorry, I guess. It's fine. It's not your fault. Besides, I'm kind of glad that Mom finally kicked me out of the house. I had always wanted to leave, but I couldn't just leave the two of you on your own, you know? But uh, what are we supposed to do now? Will you provide for us like before? I know. Why don't you just leave the house as well? What? You see, I've been thinking recently that we need to stop being so patient with Mom. It's already been seven years since she and Dad got divorced, but she still hasn't found a job. She hasn't even realized yet that I'm the one that's keeping this family afloat. She needs to go and get a job soon, since otherwise she's not going to have any money for her retirement. It's just as you say. I'm sick of how she always relies on us like some sort of parasite. Yep. You see, I moved temporarily to the apartment that I'm renting as a studio for my YouTube channel, but do you want to live here until you graduate from college or something? There's one room available. Mom doesn't know about that apartment, right? Yep. She doesn't even know that I run a cooking channel on YouTube. <laughs> That's right, I forgot. <laughs> All right, I think I'll accept your offer. It's going to be farther from your university than our current house is, but is that all right? It's fine. It's only going to take about an extra 15 minutes to get to school from there, right? I just need to get used to it. I see. Well, if that's the case, first, why don't you bring your stuff here into my apartment little by little so that Mom won't notice anything? We'll wait for until Mom leaves the house for at least a few hours, and then we'll bring your large furniture like your bed and desk here. Tell me if you know of any dates when Mom isn't going to be home for a long time. I'll hire a moving company to help you on that day. Sister, I heard that Mom is going to be on a one-day trip with her friends next Saturday. She's not going to be here from morning to night, so this is our chance. Next week, Saturday, huh? Got it. Linda! Elios! Elios gone! Do you know anything about this? You know something about this, don't you? Tell me right now! Huh? Elio? Um... I heard that he wanted to leave the house as well, but I didn't know about what he was planning in detail. Huh? He wanted to leave the house? Yep, he's been talking about how he wanted to leave the house while he was in college. Um, you haven't heard anything about it from him. I haven't! I used up a lot of money today on a one-day trip with my friends, so I only have 50 euros right now. I was planning on getting Elio to give me a thousand euros later on, but I guess the timing was bad. Um, but if you asked him for a thousand euros, then all his money he earned from working part-time jobs in a month would disappear, so don't do that to him, okay? Huh? Mom, I heard from Elio that he put a copy of his payslip in the safe in the living room. That's probably the payslip you saw and thought was mine. 
why don't you just look at that payslip closely one more time and make sure to check the name? Huh? I got the payslip, but... Huh? This is Elio's payslip? Yes. But it was written on his room that he earned 10,000 euros monthly. You mean the paper he taped to his wall with the words 10,000 euros monthly written on it? It doesn't mean that he actually earns 10,000 euros a month. It just meant that that was his goal for the future. Huh? Then what you said about you earning 10,000 euros a month? That was true as well. If that's the case, then come back right now. Why? Because not only do I not know where Elio is, but now I know that you earn 10,000 euros a month while he only earns 1,000 euros a month. It's only natural that I depend on your salary from now on. Now that I know you earn that much money, don't you think? Come back here by tomorrow, okay? Sorry, that's impossible. Why? You see, the residence contract on that house was already terminated. Huh? The residence contract was terminated? Yeah, I told our aunt, who's the owner of that house, that I left. Um, your aunt? You mean my sister, right? Yep, apparently Elio contacted her as well. She said that now that I wasn't there, there was no need for her to keep paying for a 3LDK apartment that costs 800 euros a month. My aunt says that she's going to take care of you for now and make sure that you'll be able to live on your own in the future. Huh? Mom, you don't know just how much money you use every month, don't you? Huh? It's 500 euros, right? The 500 euros you gave me every month. To be honest, that was just your allowance I was giving you. We relied on your sister to pay for that house's rent of 800 euros a month, but I was the one who paid for everything else. Our food expenses, our water and electricity bills, our taxes, etc. I've been supporting you financially on my own completely ever since you and dad got divorced. What? You see, I realized that part of the reason you have zero understanding of such financial and societal matters is because you don't have a job. In fact, you've never had a job, right? Which is why even our aunt's saying that if me and Elio are going to be leaving the house, you need to become independent yourself as well. My sister, why does she always have to be such a thorn in my side? By the way, she said this just this morning. She said that she was going to contact you once you got home from your one-day trip. Huh? Linda! I'm going to go where you are now, so tell me your address. If you don't tell me quick, then my sister is going to come for me. You know that I don't like my sister, right? If you don't want to put your own mother through hell, then come and save me right now! Linda! My aunt is single, but unlike my mother, her sister, one year younger than her, she is a completely independent adult. The two have completely opposite personalities. She came to our old house soon after that to pick up mom and made her pack the bare necessities. They left that evening, and now my mom lives with her at her house. By the way, it takes three hours and a half to get from her house to me and Elio's house, so she won't be able to get here so easily, especially since she doesn't have a driver's license. My mom now lives under the watch of her sister, and, forced to find a job by her, started out by handing with newspapers. My mom is a late sleeper and hates getting up early in the morning, so I know this must be really tough for her, but according to my aunt, this is just the first step in your mom overcoming her fears. Just as I expected, she sends me and Elio complaints every day through text, but me and Elio changed phone numbers and contact information on the recommendation of our aunt. 
Elio and I are now living a peaceful life without our mom. I didn't know things could be so simple.